Hi, I'm Deanna Springer. And I'm Dana Casey with the Fun Stitches Sisters Sewing Project and Classic Time Saving Tips by Nancy Zeman. First, let's take a look at the techniques we're featuring today. We'll be exploring decorative stitches built into our sewing machines, along with presser feet to accompany the stitches. We'll be stitching with a flower stitch foot, Bernina's circular embroidery attachment, a pin tuck foot, cording foot, piping foot. We'll be using Riley Blake Designs confetti cotton fabrics, OESD's Hydro Stick Stabilizer, Isocord Embroidery Thread, Yenmet Metallic Embroidery Thread, Sulky 12 weight threads, Schmetz Embroidery Needles and Double Needles, along with Bernina's 790 and Burnett 77 sewing machine. Explore the decorative stitches built into your sewing machine while learning how to use accessory presser feet for creative accents. Combine your sewing machine decorative stitches and presser feet accessories and discover creative embellishment for projects, garments, and accessories like scarves and table toppers. To embellish with decorative stitches, we'll first choose our fabric. We've chosen Riley Blake's Confetti Cotton Solids to beautifully showcase our decorative stitches. Next, we'll prepare our fabrics. A classic time-saving tip by my longtime friend Nancy, head to the ironing board and pre-shrink your fabrics by steaming and pressing and then spray press and starch fabric with Quilter's Starch Savvy. Press and starch and press and starch. Now we'll cut our fabrics in our stabilizers. We back each one of the flower stitch foot and circular attachment fabrics with a stabilizer. We use OESD's Hydro Stick Stabilizer and we just cut the, the stabilizer the same size as our fabric okay. and then back it. The stabilizer is activated with water. It's water adhesive and then it provides that paper sturdy backing to the back when you're stitching. It's almost like stitching fabric once that's back there. And it's a tear away okay. stabilizer. So once the stitches are complete, you can tear that away. And today we're stitching on fabric swatches or what could be quilt blocks or things incorporated into projects. But you'll sew these into uh, many different projects and accessories like um, scarves and table toppers, even um, little flower accents on cuffs are great too. Okay. So we've talked about stabilizing mm -hmm. our, the, the uh, fabrics with the OASD Hydro Stick Stabilizer. Some of the fabrics are stabilized with just spray and starch. Okay. This, uh, for the couching, we've stabilized with Terial Magic. And that's a super stiff uh, starch stabilizer. There's a lot of stitching happening when we do the couching, and that's what we stabilize with the Terial Magic Spray. And if you didn't do that, it would like suck your right. fabric to the center and get it all wrinkly. It'll, it'll pucker. It will pucker on you. And it'll, this just helps it lay flat. And it okay. washes out, so mm -hmm. it's not permanent to the fabric. And with the piping foot, with our pipe, piping cording, we'll just use the spray starch so there's no hydro stick needed okay. uh, in the second half of the projects we're making today, just these two. But we'll start by selecting our flower stitch foot. With our flower stitch foot, we use the variety of patterns on our sewing machine, those built-in stitches. Use those built-in stitches mm -hmm. that come with your machine and make some really fun accents. Attach the flower stitch foot to the machine. Select the desired stitch pattern. Place the fabric under the flower stitch foot. Experiment with changing stitch width and length and change the plus minus settings on the flower stitch foot to achieve narrow or wider flowers. Variations are obtained by loosening the screw and moving the disc so that the setting mark can face the indications on the disc. We've selected stitch number two on our Burnett 77. It's a basic zigzag stitch. We've set the length at 5.0 and the width at 7.0. You can achieve a completely different looking flower by simply changing the width and the length of the standard zigzag stitch. For our next flower, we've selected stitch number three. 
Stitch number three is a blind hem stitch, or a stitch you'd usually use for hemming pants. We've set the width at 5.0 and the length at 1.5. Move the presser foot to the plus position at the needle. Our next stitch we've selected is number four. Stitch number four is a multi-stitch zigzag. We have set the width for 6.0 and the length at 0.5. And you can see it creates a completely different looking flower than a standard zigzag stitch. You can see the petals on the flower. Our next stitch is stitch number 12. Stitch number 12 is a decorative multi-zigzag. We've set the settings at 6.0 width and 1.0 length and achieved another sunshine flower. For our next flower stitch, we're back to a zigzag stitch, but we're inserting a double needle into our sewing machine. Be sure to set the double needle setting on your machine and set your width at 3.6 and length at 5.0. Again, you can experiment with all the different stitches on your machine in all the different width and lengths and you can stitch around a second time if you'd like the stitches filled in even more. Next, we'll stitch with the circular embroidery attachment on our Bernina 790 sewing machine. The circular embroidery attachment can stitch circles from one inch to over five inches in diameter. Once the circular embroidery attachment is attached to our sewing machine, we'll select a stitch. We can stitch circles from one inch to over five inches in diameter. We've attached an open toe foot and engaged the dual feed. Place the fabric over the pin and attach the rubber cap. We've selected stitch number two on our Bernina 790. Then stitch. For our next stitch, we've selected stitch number 428, the scallop stitch. Move the pin over two notches and stitch. Select the single pattern button to complete the stitch. Our next stitch is design number 465, a teardrop stitch. Move the pin over four notches and stitch. We've now selected a wavy stitch. Move the pin over four notches and stitch. Our final featured stitch is the scallop stitch. Move the pin over four notches and stitch. Select the single pattern button and finish the stitching. Disguise any gaps with a zigzag stitch. Next we'll move on to a pin tuck foot and we'll make pin tucks. A pin tuck foot has five grooves underneath and it guides along the pin tucks as we stitch them. The pin tucks are created by inserting a double needle into your sewing machine. We'll insert a 3.0 double needle into our sewing machine and we'll thread our machine with two threads. So if you don't have two spools of thread, you could wind a bobbin okay. and provide you with two of the same color. Just thread those, both those threads through the top of your sewing machine and separate the threads at the needle. Thread each needle separately and you're ready to stitch. For the pin tuck fabric, we have only spray starched it. There's no stabilizers, like with the two, first two presser feet. Right. So spray starch only will give you nice um, straight pin tucks. Okay. And I start by stitching the center pin tuck. And I find the center of the fabric and I just fold. I finger press or fold the center of the fabric and guide that folded marked line right down the center of the pin tuck foot. Turn the fabric and stitch back in the other direction. The pin tuck will guide within the channel of the pin tuck foot. When we get to the end of our stitching seam, we'll lift our presser foot, we'll turn that fabric, and we'll stitch back again. And you can create as many pin tucks as you'd like. You can use pin tucks in things like garments and christening gowns. That's where we used it a lot. Little pin tuck area in the upper yoke mm -hmm. area. A great application for pin tucks and home deck. Yes. Put pin tucks in your pillows or accessories. Um, it's really fun 
to stitch and see those stitches form, those pin tucks form. Yes. The next stitch we're talking about is a couching stitch. And to do the couching stitch, we'll need a cording foot. So this is a three groove cording foot. It's somewhat like a pin tuck foot, mm -hmm. but it only has three grooves. There's a clip on the top of the foot that holds three cords. So we're using sulky 12 weight thread and we'll need a one spool for it to thread our machine with and then three to insert into the presser foot. We manage those threads by putting them in our little craft tote. So our little craft caddy, each little spool we put in a separate section. Mm -hmm. And we'll also use a tweezers. We'll use a tweezers to guide those threads into the stitches. Okay. And you're gonna want different color threads as you do this, or you could the, use the, the same? The choice is yours. Okay. This is a heavier uh, 12 weight thread from Sulky. And it's not a thread you'd sew garments with, mm -hmm. it's a decorative thread, so it's a little bit thinner. And I wouldn't go any thinner than a 12 weight when you're doing couching. Okay. And couching is created by putting a stitch over the top of cording or trim. So you can see on our sample that it's stitched. We use a multi-stitch zigzag. First, we'll attach the presser foot to our sewing machine. We'll use the tweezers and we'll guide those threads under that clip into the channels and under the foot. We'll tie a knot behind that foot to hang on to those threads okay. as we're stitching. As we stitch, we guide those threads into the presser foot and do that multi-stitch zigzag mm -hmm. over the cording. Now we have three rows, which you could do as many rows as you like, okay. and you can change your thread colors for right. a different look, and you can also change your cording change to a different cording, a different size cording, and do as many rows as you'd like. We just did three rows at three quarters inch apart, mm -hmm. but it's a great accent when you want to add a decoration to yes. most any sewing project. And I don't think I've ever seen that before, mm -hmm. so I'm sure I have, I just didn't realize what it was. That's mm -hmm. really pretty. It's couching, and it's uh, really fun and uh, fast to do. You see the stitches coming together as the machine stitches over it, mm -hmm. and it's just a, a beautiful stitch, a nice decorative stitch, and it's more than, than stitching. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a lot of, uh, stitching as we're doing this so we've stabilized this fabric with the Tyriel Magic. Yes. We need a little bit more stiffness than we needed for the pin tucks. You don't want the pin tuck fabric too stiff. You want the pin tuck to form. To pull in. Mm -hmm. Here we want the fabric to remain completely flat as we add all those stitches to okay. it. The next presser foot we're talking about today is the piping foot. And we know we can use the piping foot to create piping to make piping, to, to insert piping into our projects. And we use that on our Christmas stocking video yes. when we made piping and then in, it stitched it around the outside of our stocking. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not making piping here, but we're still using piping cording. And we've selected again a double needle and we've used two metallic threads yes, just for some glitz on the, the outside of that. And you can see we've attached the presser foot to our sewing machine. Mm -hmm. We insert the fabric under the presser foot and then slide that cording into place. That channel naturally guides over that cording. Now we did a straight line of this corded top stitching, but you could actually draw uh, wide curved lines and make some curves, okay. like say for a front of a pillow, right. you could get creative. You can't turn tight corners, but you can get creative and that piping foot will follow that cording along mm -hmm. and do as many rows as you'd like or just a single accent row. Have fun exploring your machine's decorative stitches and the many presser feet options and include them within your next sewing project. The creative combination of decorative stitches and presser feet are just waiting to be discovered. We hope you've enjoyed the Stitch It Sisters project. You'll find this pattern along with a limited number of bundle boxes at stitchitsisters.com. Be sure to tune in again for another Stitch It Sisters sewing adventure. In the meantime, connect with Stitch It Sisters and friends on our social sites. Stitch It Sisters is made possible by Bernina, Clover, Riley Blake Designs, OESD, Oklahoma Embroidery Supply and Design, and ShopNZP.com. Bernina, made to create.